I'm sitting here with the founder of the Danish company, uh, deer hunter Mr. Carl Engel. We have come to Germany to hunt the famous black roebuck. Carl, tell us a little bit about the reason why you're here. I had never heard about black roebucks. Roebucks, in my book, was a nice red spring occurrence. But I have been all over the other places I've been to. That's been quite an uh, in interesting experience. But of course, I had never heard about black buck. Take a look at them, they're very special. They are indeed. <clears throat> Carl, uh, we arrived yesterday here in Germany and um, could you just briefly tell us uh, what happened? What is your impression about the hunting here in this area, the hunting for the black robots? How does it work? Oh, that is regulated in a way, as far as I can see, that the black buck are limited, of course, how many they are but everybody is taking care of them. So I think this is going to be an experience for, of course, for a select group, let's put it that way. Oh, you weren't that lucky so far, but... Uh... I'll get one. I'm, I'm, I, do, I know that. Yeah. We know the right people and those people, they know, they know the black box. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. Yes. We've been out for, for two stalks, one uh, evening stalk and one morning stalk. And it seems that the local guides here, they know exactly where the bucks are within 10 or 15 yards. They're able to spot yeah. them and tell us where they are. But it's also about luck, not only with the weather, but also about having the buck there when we arrive. Um, we arrived yesterday in a very nasty weather. It was raining cats and dogs. And we sat out for most of all night last night and uh, got a bit wet, uh, but we were dressed up in proper clothing from Deer Hunter, so I think <laughs> we managed. Of course, yes. Yeah. And, uh, we want the best. Yeah, we want the best, yeah, <laughs> certainly. Well, having uh, hunting as your passionate uh, hobby, uh, how did you come to the idea to establish Deer Hunter almost 30 years ago? I've been hunting uh, before that and uh, I was actually hunting in the same kind the Germans do. In my normal work, at home in Denmark, well, well I was working with the um, workwear. And okay, hunting is also a kind of a job. It might be a job you, in, you are very happy to have, but you need the best possible clothing. So I started making clothing like I would like to have it. And uh, we started selling real well of it, and then I thought, okay, it was high time now to get a name for it. And took the deer hunter name and registered in a clothing class. How do you see the future for the company Deer Hunter uh, on the long term? How do you see the company develop? I actually think Deer Hunter in itself is a very good brand name. And I think it's one of the best known brand names in hunting clothes. And with a good management and very good people, professional people, professional hunting people, I guess you could say. It is uh, absolutely important that we have that. And then I see the positive future. I mean, we go, actually we go global on deer hunter. 
with our brand all over the world. It's in Australia, South Africa, and uh, of course Europe is very important.